is getting real with Hillary and don't worry I'm driving but I'm watching the road you can't tell because of my sunglasses but anyway on my way back from Pennsylvania we had Passover at my sister's I brought my mom and today we had the unveiling for her mother-in-law for her tombstone and on the tombstone it had um, see the world through your heart was on the back and on the front was, oh crap, it's out of my brain. Um, close your eyes and visualize. So they put those two quotes on the, on the, is it tombstone, gravestone, whatever. And I just thought that was so special. And that's what she was about. She was a woman who, Essie, was a woman who helped people. Uh, mostly anonymously, sometimes not, but if there was someone in need, she would just make it happen that they would get the help that they needed, which was really nice. Sometimes she could be, I, I found her scary. She did not mince words, and one time, I don't know what I was doing, I don't remember. Maybe I was being mean to either my daughter or my mother, I don't know who, and she was like, cut it out. And I was like, whoop. So anyway, today I kind of forgave myself for that and because they said you know complete whatever you need to complete uh, in her you know with her memory or whatever so I did that and at that moment I felt this surge of love almost like a whoop like I was hit in the chest with love isn't that wild and I felt her there saying okay you can let it go let it go so that was really cool and I just got in touch with family you know, I had created being patient, loving, and fun with my mom. And you know what? She's getting more and more confused. And I was just like, you silly girl. You know, and I just didn't, I don't think I lost my patience at all. So that's kind of a miracle. I just had great conversations with my son first and then my daughter while on the drive home. I'm driving back by myself. And um, it's quite wonderful. So I am just uh, in the presence of gratefulness and, you know, visualizing what I want instead of what I don't want. I've been seeing, you know, all the insulting I do to myself and just kind of creating a new something to say to myself instead. So that's pretty cool. Um, tomorrow's Monday and I've got my show on Tuesday. Anyway, I got stuff to do. I've been away. It was wonderful. Not looking at my computer at all. First time in a long time. And now I gotta make my little list of things. I gotta confirm my show person for Tuesday. Get ready for tomorrow. Blah, blah, blah. Get all my clothes ready. You know, la, la, la. But it's okay. It's only Sunday. I don't need to ruin it with that. So, just uh, getting real here on the drive back from Pennsylvania. Uh, it's probably a lot of noise, but oh well. My headphones are out of reach, so I didn't grab them. But have a great day. If you haven't read my book, Real Talk, you can go to realtalkwithhillary.com. Hillary's with one L. And you can take the Real Talk quiz. If you don't think you're being real and you think there are things you're not saying, then uh, set up a call with me and we'll talk it through and see if there's anything we can do together to get you some more freedom. It's easy to get stuck and with my help, it's easy to get unstuck. So have a great Sunday, happy Easter, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.